Hey y'all, welcome back. We're here at Festival of the Holidays. Let's dig in and have some dinner. I'm so excited, but first up is gonna be Guardians for their Christmas overlay. So let's go check that out. Look, the Epcot ball is so pretty with the lights and the fountain right there. Oh, it's such a pretty shot. I love it and the Christmas music. I'm so excited to be back here. All right, as we were walking, we passed by Space Ship Earth. I was gonna say Space Mountain. Um, we passed by Spaceship Earth and it was only a five minute wait. So it's looking like it's not too busy today, which is amazing. I wonder if it's because the Christmas party's happening today at Magic Kingdom, so everyone goes there for the afternoon. All right, here we are at Guardians. Not sure if there's gonna be Christmas decorations in the queue or just on the ride or in the pre-show, but I'm excited to find out, so let's go. I'm also curious how long the, lights, the line's gonna be. Right now it's 6.02. Last time we came, we waited quite a good amount, so I'm curious to see if we'll wait a long time this time. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing any Christmas decorations in here. Also, the line is right up there, which means it's probably gonna be like 30 minutes. Guess we'll find out. Right now it is 6.03. At least we have a great show to watch. Same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe. The people of Epcot, Epcotters, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome. Epcot Terrence. As you are standing inside the lighted ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? You made it! I mean, of course you did. No more prime? They're ready. Excellent. There is no cause for alarm. Turn off that alarm. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, they're headed for the jump point. This plan is never gonna work. Rocket! Well? Okay, I've walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large bear, then you are likely doomed. Drag. stopped <laughs> I um you know we, we don't normally stop here we go forward and then it shows you like a little screen and they tell you you did a good job and then you get off and um we're not officially stuck but we are stopped attention please remain seated your star jumper will resume motion immediately of the galaxy. We have no room in our ship for these new guards. Drax, it's an honorary title. They're not coming with us. I Normally see. We're like it is meaningless. Well, then welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, where's that cake toast? <laughs> I stopped again. But yeah, we got on at a little over 6.30. So it took us 
25 minutes, I want to guess, right? I think so. Yeah, it was like around 25 minutes, so really actually not as bad as I was expecting. I know. <laughs> We turned the work lights on. The lights turned on and we're just passed by the track, so now we won't be able to see inside. I'm sorry. From your star jumper to the exit of our attraction, please remain seated. An operator will be with you shortly to guide you out of the pavilion. They turned off the power, the music, and now they're coming to get us. y'all we made it off of guardians they gave us a lightning lane to use either on guardians or any other ride in the park um and i asked when it's good till and it's good till the till the end of the night so we're gonna try and go on guardians again if it reopens um they just said they closed down for technical issues um and i don't know if you saw i tried to get a, a video of it there were people still stuck like on the down slope of it like toward the end of the ride and they were all just like kind of hanging out there but yeah so now it's already 705 so we're gonna try and grab some food and then maybe head on guardians if it's open again we are starting off in mexico but i just want to show you look at how pretty the tree is first thing we got is the cochinita pibil tamal good you like it yeah it's pretty good it what tastes you... similar to like the is it the taco we got last time? It's almost like a mashed potato consistency. Probably a little bit more grainy. All right, we're here in Germany, and look at this really cute little stage. And this is the pork schnitzel. It comes with egg noodles, um, pork schnitzel, red cabbage, and a mushroom sauce. This looks really yummy, and I'm very excited to try this. I used to eat a version of this all the time with Hungarian cuisine, so I'm excited to try it. The noodles taste like noodles. They're a little unflavored. Like mm. if you made noodles in like unsalted water. They're not bad though. They just taste like plain noodles. Pork is good. You like it? Mm hmm. A little dry. Let's taste the noodle. This is really plain. This is, I lied. This is not what that's supposed to taste like. I told you. It's like unseasoned pasta. It's cold, which is fine. But it is, like there is literally not a dash of salt on this. All right, I'm gonna try this uh, red cabbage. Oh, it's just so sweet. This isn't even um, a little bit spicy. Like, not spicy, sorry. Sour? This isn't even a little bit sour. It's like, um, I would, I would counter Josh's and say that it's more like a raspberry jam. Like, I taste more raspberry than I do cranberry. And it's almost like the red cabbage is mixed with raspberry jam. Okay, let's try the schnitzel now with the mushroom sauce on top. Mm. And my favorite thing out of the whole dish. The mushroom sauce, delicious. The schnitzel, it is a bit dry, but in the past when I've had schnitzel as well, it's hard to make it not dry because it's so thin and you fry it. So it's hard to cook schnitzel, but I say it's really good. The breading also is very well seasoned. I love the taste of the breading too. A thousand percent if you're gonna get something from here. This is the only thing we got, but I would recommend this. All right, we are skipping Italy because we didn't really see anything we wanted to try, especially not because we're like rushing. It's already eight and we still wanna head back and try to ride Guardians again too on the way out, so we need to save time for that. So we're heading straight to Japan because there's a Christmas tree sushi that I really, really wanna try. We're here in Japan and we got the Christmas tree sushi and it comes with crab, but crab is spelled with a K, so I assume it's the fake crab. And it also, oops, it also comes with roe, which is what I assume this green and red is. And then the crab comes with cream cheese and then some mayo on top. And look, there's even a little star. It's not fish eggs. What is that? That is, it's like a... Oh, crispy. is that the tempura? Yeah. Mm, oh, that's probably the fish eggs. The little small. boba balls that like looked like boba balls in the center of the sushi, that's the fish oh, eggs, I assume, the roe. Yeah, I think so. Dive in deep. Dive in deep into your salt. But not too far, you'll be drowned. <laughs> I just came to eat, that's all. 
And I came to sing Frozen. And I'm gonna try the tempura, which is just breading, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, yeah. It tastes red and green. It's oily. That's yummy. It's good, right? Ooh, it is very fishy. Mm-hmm. It's definitely more fishy than, like, a salmon or tuna sushi. But crab and lobster also taste way more fishy than salmon and tuna. And then the mayo on top is just like a spicy mayo, but I like the cream cheese. I like that it's like smooth. Like I like that it, I don't know. It just tastes like something creamy on the inside, so I like that. All right, so here is that booth, the one that we don't know how to pronounce. It's in between Morocco, which is right there, and France, which is right over here. So let's go and try the food. So I assume this is the Israeli booth. So we're here. <laughs> And we got the, these are basically just jelly filled, mini jelly filled donuts. And then this is the salmon uh, latka, and it's just potato on the bottom, salmon, and then I assume, what is that, like dill? Uh, smells good. Looks good. And honestly, it doesn't really taste like salmon. No? Not really, like it's not, but it's not fishy. I don't think salmon is like the most fishy of fish. That's good. The uh, actual latka is good kind of crispy. It's got a little bit of like seasoning on it or flavor to it, I guess. Yeah, it's good. It's not something I would normally... I think there's jalapenos in this. Yeah. Or some type of pepper. I know there's dill for sure in like the sauce. Yeah, it's actually good. It definitely doesn't taste nearly as fishy as the um, crab sushi from the last one or even the other... What did we have that was also fishy? Nothing else, right? Oh yeah. Well, this doesn't taste nearly as fishy. It's still fishy, but not nearly as much. But I like it. It tastes very like fresh and light. So the uh, salmon thing does have a bunch of capers, in case you're wondering. They're pickled and regular, I feel like, but they seem pickled, um, so I got itchy. So now Josh is gonna try the donut ball thing, and then I'm gonna try it after. Go ahead, take it away, Joshua. I'm trying donut ball thingies apparently. <laughs> That's the actual name on the paper according to Tamir. I don't even like jelly filled donuts. You don't? No. What? They're okay. They're just not my favorite. Oh, it definitely has capers in it because my mouth is breaking out the same way it did at the Animal Kingdom Hotel. If you watch that staycation vlog, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, go watch it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just itchy and my mouth broke out. <laughs> I'm fine! It's no Coronado experience. I didn't even want that dish. I didn't want it. Just tastes like a jelly donut. It's good though. The jelly's good. I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna tell you a secret. I'm allergic to jelly donuts, babe. <laughs> if you are, put it down right now. Mm. So my mom's favorite donut is a jelly donut. And we used to go to Dunkin', like, my dad would get us donuts, like, once every two weeks on the weekends. And I love jelly donuts, but I would always get itchy after eating them. Gum is the pre-Benadryl for minor allergies. So we're gonna go see if Guardians is open. If not, we'll probably use the lightning lane on test track and then head home. So, yeah, let's go together. Okay, we're here. We just sprinted so much that my Apple Watch thought I was exercising. I think they're letting people in. I think they are. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're gonna be able to ride it again. And we get lightning lane this time. Yay, I'm so excited, let's go. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed. Right. Oh, you are lying to them. Now I understand. <laughs> Welcome 
to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, we just got off our second time on Guardians and that was so much fun. We didn't get front row, we weren't as lucky this time. We're leaving and we can see the fireworks from the parking lot. Yes, it's gonna be a beautiful ride home.